One of the most difficult challenges in FTC robotics is figuring out the answer to the question, where is your robot in space? Wait about three, four, five, and then we should transition to our next state. By the end of today's video, you'll understand how you can use dead wheel odometry to be able to answer that question. The way that some teams get around just having two pods is they add in an additional IMU. You can use the IMU that's attached to the control hub itself. GoBuilder also sells a pinpoint computer that has an IMU built into it. So you have one pod for your X, one pod for your Y, and then you also get the IMU, which keeps track of your heading, which will give you your rotation changes over time. Now, in my experience, the Go Build a Pinpoint computer has a really accurate IMU. They've done a lot of tuning on this thing, and it also makes your read times a little bit faster. But I have also had a great experience using the IMU on the control hub. One thing you have to make sure is just watch out for ESD events on this. So make sure you have this thing relatively well isolated. Got a whole video on that explained down below because sometimes uh, the IMU can end up resetting on this. Do you want to have a robot that's able to strafe and move around the field and not get lost and keep track of where it is? Dead wheel geometry is definitely the best way to go about that. Let me know if you got any questions in the comments down below. And as always, best of luck out there this FTC season.